Okay, kid fans, let's do a little more playing around with 3D and start by drawing a little bit of a truss bridge here. So let's say we had a bridge 50 meters wide and then I'm going to make an arch. So let's do tilde key, go over 25, down a little bit, maybe about 20 meters. And then I'm going to wrap this around, which means I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. There. Come on. There we go. So I think we should be able to do a copy parallel then with that, or move parallel with the keep original. Let's just move down like half a meter. So there's a basic art shape. Uh, probably in the middle we'd want a, a connection. Right, you have to have some vertical elements. So I'll do a tentative, middle mouse button, O, move over about a quarter of a meter. 0.25. And I'm gonna have to zoom in here a little bit. Left click, and then go down. And there to go straight down. I'll go a little bit past. Actually, I could hit it. Let's put, put it right on there. And then I should be able to do a uh, same thing to the other side of center by doing a copy. 3, 1. Move over 0.5. Okay. And then what I'll do is, is trim that. I wanted this other group. Where's it? Intellitrim. So I'll zoom in here, and what I want is to connect this and cut that, right? So Intellitrim says identify element to trim to. I want to trim to that line. And then you create a line across the element to be trimmed. I just left click, left click, and it trimmed it a little bit farther than I wanted. So I guess I'll have to approach this a little different. Uh, Control Z to put that line back. Let's look at Intellitrim. We'll do cut instead. I'm going to move up just a little bit. Here we go. So create line which define cut. So I left click, move down, left click again. So now I've cut this line in half. Then we'll switch to trim. Trim to there. Left click. Trim that off. That's good and then reset that's uh, not doing what I'm wanting here but I did it again teletrim undone alright I think I just got myself goofed up in a bunch of tools here like that so there I've got it trimmed at the top we can do the same thing at the bottom I'm going to have to do the cut first just like that. And then we just trim that off like I just did. Like that. And then right click and then trim two. Left click, pick the line across. So there we go. Now I've got a basic one. What I'd want to do is to put several more verticals in here, maybe some diagonals and stuff. But for demonstration purposes, uh, let's stick with this. So our next move then is to convert this into a into a 3D, but I've got to do one more intermediate step and make this inner part into a shape. I do both of those. Shape close, left click. So I'm just clicking my way around in automatic mode. Now what we're going to do is turn that into a region and what I want is the the part in between that would make up the structure to be a region. So I think the way to go here is probably this difference tool. So we identify an element and then another that's going to be inside it. And then I hold down the control key and get that one too. And then data. And 
and I think that might have done it. Yep, see now when I move the mouse over it's one big region. Now let's go ahead and change this two-dimensional thing to a 3D. No, it won't be quite as bad as the road. Uh, should be pretty easy. We can use this tool called Solid by Thicken Surface. And let's make it, I don't know, like a meter thick. And left click on that. And you can see it's in top view, but if I left click one more time, it should turn that into a, a one meter thick truss. And let's look at the top view. Fit. And yep, there it is. So there's there's my very simple arch truss in three. Heads up, Will. Who's your daddy? Okay, well I got tired of drawing the arch, so now I'm switching over to drawing a suspension bridge. And I've drawn in the towers, and I've drawn in the deck. Now I'm going to do the main cables with this other 3D tool that'll extrude along a path. But I'm going to start with this B-spline curve, and I'm going to do it through points. You can play around with this to see how it works. Essentially it, it makes a nice curved shape. So figuring that the cable is kind of going to go up like that, All right? Look something like that. Right-click to get out of that tool. So hopefully that all lined up in the same plane. Yep, it did from the front view. So that's good. Let's open up the front view here and zoom into the end of that blue line. And then I'm going to draw a circle around the end of that blue line. So I try to get mouse to kind of go over the end of that. There we go. So you kind of wiggle the mouse around until it goes over where you want to start. Left click and I'm going to make a let's make it a 0.25 meter diameter cable. Just like that. And then I'm going to use this tool called Solid by Extrusion Along. So let's see. We'll just try the defaults here. Select element for path. So I want to follow the, this cable path that I drew in and then the profile is going to be that circle and I left click one more time and there's my uh, three-dimensional cable. If I look back at the front side of it I'm sorry I was on the front look at the right side of it you can see the cable going up to the tower and I'd probably have to draw in another one that go in between and, and you get the idea Let's see, what else could we do with this? Uh, demonstrate some more of these tools. How about, uh, uh, what's that one? Edit primitive. Uh, let's say we took this tower here and I left click on it. It should pop up with a edit cone. Since I made them round, you know, big round towers. Maybe we want to taper them, make them like five meters at the base. That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, what else? We could also use the chamfer tool to taper the bottom of the deck. Um, let's maybe make it like a meter by a meter and hit that bottom edge. That's pretty good. What this ends up looking like, let's take a look at the isometric in illustration mode. There you can see the cone that I did there. Change the tower to a more tapered shape and then let's let's zoom in on this chamfer thing. That made a little edge, you know, made the deck not rectangular anymore. You can use it that way. You can also use it uh, just to make it look a little bit more polished if you switch to you know, say you just want to take a little bit off, like 0.2 or something. Make the edge round off a little bit so it looks a little more you know, normal, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Well, anyway, that should do it.